a very good morning to all of you we know that animals live in different places some live on land and others live in water the same is true of plants animals and plants adapt to suit the place they live in so let's learn about aquatic plants and their adaptations adaptations are changes that occur over a period of time in the bodies of animals and plants which help them survive in their environment these changes are called adaptations let's learn about some plants that live in water and how they have adapted or changed to be able to do so plants growing in water plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants there are three kinds of aquatic plants floating plants fixed plants and underwater plants floating plants some plants like duckweed and water hyacinth float freely in water they have the following adaptations which help them survive in their environment duckweed it has air spaces to help it stay afloat in the water it is an important food for fish turtles and ducks their roots also float and are not fixed to the soil water hyacinth its hollow spongy stem allows the plant to float keeping the leaves and flowers above the water so they don't rot the curved broad leaves act like a sail allowing plants to easily travel over water and spread quickly the roots are dense and feathery which allow them to gather nutrients easily from from water fixed plants some plants have roots that fix the plants to the soil at the bottom of the pond they are called fixed plants lotus they have big round leaves and hollow like stems because of which they float on the surface of water the stomatas are on the upper surface of the leaf to take in air the stem and leaf surfaces are coated with wax which is difficult to wet and does not get damaged water lily it has big leaves that float on water surface to attract ample sunlight for photosynthesis the top side of the leaf is covered with a cuticle to keep it dry the underside has thorns to protect it from predators underwater plants some plants live completely under water hydrilla their roots fix them in the soil they have thin narrow leaves with no stomata their leaves not only increase the surface area of absorption and area for photosynthesis but also reduce their resistance to water and therefore damage to the leaves the stems are flexible and have air spaces tape grass it has long thin and narrow leaves without any stomatas these leaves absorb carbon dioxide and oxygen directly through their surface they provide habitat for fish stabilizing sediments and filtering water the plants are an important food for wild ducks and turtles plants growing at the edge of water 
bulrushes and papyrus plants like bulrushes and papyrus grow with parts of their stems and roots under water these plants have tough root systems that allow them to grip the soil firmly importance of adaptation adaptation is essential for the survival of living organisms these adaptations might make it very difficult for the plant to survive in a different place this explains why certain plants are found in one area but not in another thank you have a wonderful day and for more videos please subscribe and press the bell icon